Hey guys, Todd Custom Kicks. We're gonna meter these a little bit. Uh, Raider Can One downloaded a cool little uh, earthquake meter, and uh, I actually have it too here. Um, if this dang thing will ever focus, but uh, I usually shoot my videos on this phone. It does 1080p HD all day long. Um, it's the LG uh, Optimus G, and I've got a 64 gig card in it. It's quad core processor, all that good stuff. Anyway, it runs this stuff really nicely. Um, it'll actually run the SPL Labs software as well. But you know, I'm just playing with this uh, free stuff that everybody can get. And uh, so I thought I'd do a little test because Tim just did a little video he released with the uh, vibrometer which is basically a, uh, you know, a really cool version of a, uh, you know, earthquake meter. This is what Tim just did. It's super cool. And he's right. I mean, you can, the, th the dang thing is kind of actually accurate. It's weird because you can put it on the ground. And it picks that stuff up like nothing. I mean, it's just cooler than heck. And then you can go back and play it. But I was doing some digging. And I found another one that's super cool. It's called SPL Spectrum. And not only will... And I, I know people, I know... Everybody says the microphone on a phone is no good past uh, 90 decibels. Well... I hate to tell you guys, I work for Motorola. I align two-way radios for communications for police departments and fire departments. And our, our decibels, the human voice, I'm sorry, is a lot louder than 90 decibels. It can go up into the 115 range when people are excited and talking into the microphone in full pursuit. I'm sitting here wondering why my daughter's naked. Yeah, anyway. So, this one's really cool. And not only does it have peak hold, I'll turn my RTA on. It also has an analyzer built in. So what we'll do is we will just go ahead and play some decaf. I know it's hard to see, but that right there is 120, 140, peaking is 160. Human voice is about right there. Should be, right? So, you also have the ability to go in and do calibrations, okay? Your overall calibrations. And... You can turn peak on and peak off, scale line, max values, there you go. So then you turn on peak hold. Remember, that's about 100 right there. It's actually flickering to my voice. So my voice is louder than the speaker. Well, let's see what happens when we turn this shit up. Because remember, I got 1500 watts onto HDS 3 12D4s. And yes, it does rip in here. Now 
there's all your peak holds. Um, I mean, man, it's just super cool. So it's telling me right now. Oh God, I wish that would focus. But just under 120 decibels. But my peak frequency was 43 hertz. So I'm doing 43 hertz at 120 dB in my living room. Not bad. I wouldn't think bad anyway. Let me get a little bit harder hitting song on here and we'll go that way. It's going to be a long video, guys. But you know what? Hey, let's just have some fun. Who cares? Oh, hell, that's it. 14. Let's go to some new school, man. See what this analyzer is good for on some new school. Bitch, it ain't me. There we go. And I'll reset my peaks here. I mean, man, I wish that thing would focus. Oh, my God, that's driving me nuts. That just made it worse. So, but let me go ahead and turn my peak off. Yeah, notice all my low frequencies are higher than my other ones. It's the way I have my EQ set up. Yes, that should be pretty flat. But according to the music and how it starts, yeah, we all know all that stuff. Anyway, let's crank the volume. Next video, I'll do it in the car. Peace.